Hi everybody and welcome to the start of a uh, another one off video, another Tom Till looks at. And this time it's uh, a demo which has just recently been released on the Xbox One. It's Devil May Cry the Devil May Cry 5 demo released just recently, um a few days ago as of this recording. Um for on the Xbox One, it's Xbox One exclusive. The demo is uh, at this moment uh, currently, um, but it'll probably get re-released, get re-released -re uh, on other sys on other platforms um, later on. Um, and I was really excited to get it to uh, give this a go, see if it's any good, because I'm really excited for Devil May Cry 5. Um, so let's say we just jump right on in, head first, and start a new game. Uh, so yeah, I've already played this once. It's uh, you know, I'll sh I'll sh shut up. <laughs> I won't say anything yet. I'll just keep. We'll just keep going as we go. Fifteenth of June, five thirty-two a.m. That's it. Uh, no more wheels from here. First thing I will say, yeah. this game does look absolutely gorgeous. Yo, yo, yo. Um, just love how graphic how this game looks um graphically. This it. Got a very nice. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a nice mix of controls, it's kind of in the middle, like, because the, the reboot DMC, um, Devil May Cry, ooh, look at that, uh, this camera angle's a bit weird to start off with, but I do kind of like it. Okay, fine. Sorry. Um, <laughs> here we are. Um, but it kind of looks uh, similar to um, so Red Orbs. Basically, the Demon Blood uh, exchange these for weapon, new weapons and skills. All right, fine. But uh, it's kind of a mix to me. Like in between, it's not quite so cartoony and over the top as um, DMC Devil May Cry was. Ooh. But at the same time, it's kind of. What a mess. It's also. Not quite as, um. Bleak looking as, um. Devil May Cry 4. So it's kind of a nice, um. Mix in the middle. Uh, let's talk about what Nero's move set is. Really, uh, you've got double jump, you've got your sword, you've got your gun, and you've also got your arm. Hold down the B button, and you can do a really powerful one. And there's two types of arms. The first one is the one we got on, which is the overture, uh, and the overture is pretty much. A you know, gra a basically a grapple, kind of like the angel. Was it the angel pull? No, it was the demon. Uh, demon pull. That's what it was. It was a demon pull from um, the reboot. Uh, also, kind of like the. Also, kind of like the. Um, I can't remember the name of the thing, but similar to what um, Nero had in uh, Devil May Cry 4 as well. But I haven't really played a lot of Devil May Cry 4, so that's just the way I feel about it. Uh, right bumper to lock on. B for the uh, to pull the, to use your demon pull. Ah, oh, this song's so good. And Y for the um, for your sword swings. <clears throat> uh, I, as far as I know, you don't have a block button. I think you have... 
sprint using the left trigger, apparently. What does the left trigger do? Oh, it does something to the sword. Sorry, <laughs> this is the second time I've played it. Um, so yeah, uh, you can swap your weapon, your arm, by pressing the left button. But basically, it jets one, and then you've, and then there's the Gerbera. Uh, the Gerbera does like a shockwave kind of move. It's kind of useful. Um, but I prefer the other one, to be honest. Let's keep going. Oh. Come here. Ugh. Why aren't you dying? Thank you. And green orbs recover health as they do in every single game. There we go. Let's go down this way. I don't think... Oh, I'm kind of lost now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Gun's pretty useful. I'm... Th was I thinking ahead? Yeah, I think I'm thinking ahead. <coughs> My apologies. Yeah, the camera's a bit weird. I don't like how it is uh, so close to start off with. And this pisses me off as well. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this kind of annoys me. There was a red orb in, the, in there. Now I can't get back to get those red orbs. <sighs> Just fuck you. Alright. Ah. Come here, buddy. Something which I don't really like is you have to... Go down. Is that you have to hold the um, right bumper in order to... Uh, Keep locked on to a certain enemy. And it can be a little bit awkward for me. I think it was um, a similar story in. Fuck you. In a. Devil May Cry um, 4. That they, uh, they use one of the bumpers, I remember, for um, locking on. I don't really mind that. Yeah, let's have an overture. Let's have the overture on. I prefer the overture. There it is. Head out here. This is pretty short, to be fair, for a demo. <coughs> then again, it is a demo, I suppose. It's only like, um, I think... I can't remember how long it took me. Oh, shit. I think it took me like... 15, 20 minutes. Let's uh, get moving. Damn it. I'm on the Gerber road again. RBNB for a wire switch. Something else which is kind of cool as well, which I kind of like in the options is um, 
you can uh, turn on uh, what's the word I'm looking for here it's the part I was thinking of earlier on by the way um, <laughs> you can turn on uh, auto combos so you can just mash the Y button and, and you'll automatically do combos and stuff Kinda of nice for people who haven't played the game before. Um, but at the same time, if you don't want to use it, if you you know you're a pro. <laughs> Oops, nothing else there. Okay. If you're a pro, you don't have to switch that on, and you can use the. Uh, you don't have to use the auto kind of um, combo system, which is kind of nice. Nice thing it gives you the option. Nidhog Hatchling. Uh, you need one of these. And we've got to head back to... Where is it? Here it is. So we head back over here. Place it in here. Kind of disturbing. I don't really like how that thing looks. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Hands and brakes. And now we can move on. Uh, I'm sure that'll be a thing in... That could be quite irritating. If they... Uh, depending on how often they decide to use that shit. Let's get my uh, green orbs. I will say, um, also, um, having played a little bit of, um, Devil May Cry 4, uh, in this game, I know it's an old game, but, um, the movement is definitely a lot more reminiscent of the reboot of, uh, DMC Devil May Cry, which was probably the best thing about that game, was how, um, good the platforming was and how well Dante controlled in that. So I'm glad that the uh <laughs> I love the scene. And you know it's just kinda cool that they took that element and uh did something kind of interesting with it doctor. here. You know or you know at least uh, gave him a, gave Nero here a bit more fluid movement is the best way I can put it. Which is awesome. Time for the boss <laughs> Of the uh, of the demo, he's kind of cool looking. I think this is the guy from the um, the um, the E3 trailer in um, a few months ago. I think this is um, the boss fight. the The creature, anyway, was the boss that he showed in the um, E3 demo, which is kind of cool. Then we get to fight him now. <laughs> You're so c cool in this scene. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. No offense. Should I? <laughs> oh, the big guy's called a Goliath. That's uh, shocking. All right. Kind of a cool design. I kind of like him. How the way the way he's designed, at least. Time for a fight. I did take some damage in this when I first played it, but um, I didn't die, so that's something. Goliath. Let's take this some bitch down. Now I've got. Let's lock on. Yeah, maybe I will. Sorry, I'm about to kill you. Whoop! I got hit already. Damn it! Not doing very well here. I avoided that. Didn't do that first time. Your 
Oh, got to avoid this prick now. Yeah, basically we just got to try and uh, avoid. Um, that has stop it from stop us from getting sucked in. Uh, to kind of you don't have a block button, uh, but in order to dodge him, you basically lock on and you press the A button and you can roll. Oop, that caused me some damage. Luckily, the um. I don't know if this is going to stay the same in the full game, but those gre small green gems do ge give you quite a lot of health back. Right. Yeah, let's get one of those again. Oop. Avoid him. Oop. Come here, little bitch. How about we wrap this? I think I don't know if you cause more damage to the head, it doesn't really look like it much. But I always think when they put so much design focus into the head that <laughs> it's probably the way to go. And fuck you. <laughs> ah, interesting. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of shitty. That's kind of dodgy. <laughs> the how it kind of paused before it continued on, and I got a B rank. That's not too bad. And uh, something else I like, you actually, in comparison to the MC. Um, the fact that you, that seems like quite a lot of red orbs that you collected that we collected throughout the stage and it seems like we get an abundance like we do in like we did in um, Devil May Cry 4 which is kind of nice yes it is <laughs> and I think is that the end of the demo? I think that's the end of the demo yeah there we go no <laughs> so there you go that is the demo for Devil May Cry 5 um, that is going to be coming out uh, I can't remember what it's at I think it's out in March it's out in 2019 anyway, it's out next year I think it's out in March next year and oh my god I haven't played this demo I'm super hyped for it now I cannot wait to play this game it's so much fun runs on the Resident Evil 7 engine uh, it's probably why it looks so damn good because that game looked gorgeous as well um, but yeah, that's the end of this little look at. Uh, looks like a great game. I really, f it's re the demo is really damn fun. I suggest if you go on Xbox, give it a go. It's really awesome. Um, I cannot wait for this game. It's going to be so good. But yeah, that's the end of this little look at. Um, I'll probably be doing a full playthrough when Devil May Cry 5 comes out. But for now, this was a little look at it, uh, the D DMC5 demo on the Xbox One. So I will. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I can't wait for Devil May Cry 5. This is so good. Anyway, uh, see you in the next video, whatever it happens to be, and see you next time.